Today, I'm gonna to show you how to connect a Mac to a Windows computer via your local network. This is great for those of you working on both platforms as it allows you to easily send files from one computer to another. So if you're sick of plugging in a USB stick or hard drive into each computer just to get a few files across, then this tutorial is for you. Keep in mind that the speed of networking can be a little slow. So if you're transferring large video files, there are still some benefits to using a USB stick or hard drive. But for daily transfers of small files, I think this method is the way to go. So with all that being said, let's begin with step one, which is to enable file sharing on the Mac. Click on the Apple menu, then System Settings, then General. Click on Sharing, and then turn file sharing on using the toggle switch on the right hand side. Click on the info icon, click on your username and make sure it's set to read and write. Click on the options button and click on the share files and folders using SMB and then click on the checkbox next to your account. And that's it for the setup of the Mac. Now let's head over to the Windows computer and configure that for file sharing. I'm using my Razer Blade laptop for this example, and I recently upgraded it to Windows 11. Now it might look a little bit different to Windows 10 users. So if you haven't upgraded, much of what I explain here is the same. It's just that it's going to look a little bit different. So if you prefer, you can check out my previous tutorial, which I made years ago, showing you how to do this on Windows 10. Otherwise, if you are currently on Windows 11, keep watching this video. Click on the start menu icon and in the search field above, type in the words control panel. Click on this and then click on network and internet. Click on network and sharing center. Then click on change advanced sharing settings. Under the private network, turn on network discovery, then turn on file and printer sharing. Leave the other two options for public network and all as they are. The final step in the Windows setup process is to create a folder and give it file sharing permissions. To do this, click on the File Explorer icon and then click on the directory that you would like to add your folder to. Or if you wanna just create a folder on the desktop for easy access, simply right click anywhere on the desktop, select new and then select folder. Type in the name for the folder, I'll call mine Mac OS as this will be the folder that contains all the files that I drag across from my Mac. Now right click on the folder itself, click on properties, click on sharing, then advanced sharing and click on the share this folder checkbox. Click on permissions and you should find this will be set to read only. We wanna be able to write to this folder. So click on the checkbox next to change and if you want, you may as well give it full control. Then click on apply. That's it, we're now done setting up our Windows computer as well. Now all we need to do is to get the IP address of this Windows computer so that when we return to the Mac in the next step, we can actually get access to this Windows computer. To do this, click on network and internet, scroll down to the bottom and click on advanced network settings. In the network adapter section at the top, select your network. I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so I'll click on the drop down arrow on the right hand side to reveal more information about my Wi-Fi network. If your computers are connected via Ethernet, then select your Ethernet network adapter instead. In the Wi-Fi section, if I click on the drop down arrow next to view additional properties, I get more information. And what I'm looking for specifically is the IP4 address, which in this case is 192.168.0.164. This is the local IP address of my computer on the network, and we'll be needing this when we connect our Mac in the next section of this tutorial. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, let me show you a shortcut to getting this IP address. We can do this in the command prompt window, to get to command prompt, click on the start menu and in the search field, type in command prompt. Now type in ipconfig, 
or one word. And as you can see, the same IP4 address is listed. So go ahead, identify the IP4 address of your own Windows computer. And the next step will be to use this IP address on our Mac. So we're back on the Mac and we're now ready to connect to the Windows computer. To do this, click on the Go menu, then connect to server or use the keyboard shortcut Command and K. In the pop-up box that appears on the screen, first type in the following, SMB colon forward slash forward slash, then type in the IP address that you got from the Windows computer in the previous step. So the full command that I've entered into this field is SMB colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.164. Click on connect, a pop-up box will appear asking for a username and password. Enter your Windows login details here. This is most likely going to be the admin logging details of the PC. Now, if you've entered the correct information here, you should get one more pop-up window, and this allows you to select the folder that you created on your Windows computer. In my case, it was called Mac OS. Click on it, and now you should see the same folder appear on your Mac OS desktop. Go ahead and drag some documents into the folder, photos, videos, any files you want to share, go over to your Windows computer, click on the share folder that you created previously, and you should now be able to access the files that you just dragged over from your Mac. If you wanna share back to the Mac, drag any file you want from your Windows computer into this folder, and then go look in your Mac and you'll see the files are accessible to you on your Mac as well. So hopefully you were able to follow along and now you can share files between your Mac and Windows computers with ease. On a final note, one of the most common issues that can arise when setting this up is that the login credentials don't seem to work. Quite often, when you log into your Windows computer, you just enter a pin and don't even know what your username is. So if that's the case, go back to the Windows computer, bring up the command prompt and enter command, who am I? This will show you the local username. Now you can go back to your Mac and try entering that username and the pin number that you normally use to sign into your Windows computer. If that fails, click on the start menu, settings, account, your info, and in account settings, you can change the way you log in using a local account or a Microsoft account. Mine is currently set to local account, so if I wanted to switch over to the Microsoft account, I would click on the sign in with Microsoft account instead option, enter my username and password for my Microsoft account. And then when I log into my Windows computer or log in from the Mac, I would then have to enter my Microsoft account credentials, which is usually in the form of your email and password rather than the username and PIN, which is on the local account. If you're still having problems with logging in, I'll leave a few links to some resources on how to change your login information on Windows 11 below. And just one final thing, if for some reason you're still having problems connecting, be sure that both computers are connected to the same Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. If you're using Wi-Fi, keep in mind that some routers have multiple networks, for example, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz bands. So make sure that both the Mac and Windows computers are indeed connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.